In the 1990s, the city of Mumbai was filled with dreams to grow into a global megabolus. But soon, the perils of progress began to show. With increasing atmospheric pollution posing a threat not only to the environment, but also to the lives of the people of Mumbai. Incorporated on the 8th of May, 1995, Mahanagar Gas Limited, MGL, has the parentage of Gale India Limited, India's leading natural gas company, BG Asia Pacific Holdings, a company of the Royal Dutch Shell Group, and the government of Maharashtra. Soon, the sapling began to grow in strength to provide shelter and hope to the citizens of Mumbai. Mumbai's first city gate station came up in Wadala, connecting to the trunk gas line of Gale. Initially, convincing people to change over from LPG to the new piped natural gas was a major challenge. MGL teams visited building after building across the city to create awareness on the benefits of PNG as a safer and more economical fuel for cooking. In 95-96, nobody was willing to come forward to take PNG connections. There were a lot of apprehensions in the mind of people. People were worried about whether it will be safe or whether it will explode. People were more worried about the continuity of the supply, whether the supply will continue or no. And you will be surprised to know one of the marketing measures ultimately we adopted was 100 free connections we had offered at Suman Nagar Chembur area. From 100 free connections till today now we have traveled the journey so far where it's treated as a premium fuel. An even bigger challenge was to create an underground gas pipeline network in a highly congested city like Mumbai. While digging, extra care had to be taken so that the networks of other utility lines like water, electricity, telephones, etc. were not damaged. Mumbai has one of the highest population and traffic densities of any city in the world. To lay infrastructure in the city, we have to take permissions from numerous authorities like the railways, the PWD, the National Highways Authorities, various municipal corporations, MIDC, SIDCO, etc. The fact that Mumbai has a working season of only seven months and five months are lost to the monsoon makes pipeline laying more challenging. MGL took up a challenge to achieve a target of providing 3,000 home connections within a year. On achieving this, MGL extended its pipeline of PNG to industrial users as well. The green fuel PNG was welcomed by hospitals, hotels and other commercial establishments. Across the streets of Mumbai, increasing vehicular pollution was making the city breathless. MGL pioneered the supply of CNG as a pollution-free fuel. 
In the first round, public transport vehicles like buses, taxis and auto rickshaws became CNG users. MGL started its first uh, CNG station in the year 1996 and this was at our city station at Valala. After the first CNG station came up, not many people were uh, wanting to convert uh, their vehicles onto CNG. It all happened after the year 2000 when uh, we had uh, the people understanding the benefits of natural gas and they started converting in huge number. So we had 10 stations in the year 2000 and by the year 2005 we had 100 stations. Online CNG stations were set up for uninterrupted supply at BEST bus depots and numerous offline CNG stations were established across the city where CNG was delivered through cascades of large cylinders filled from MGL's main city gas station. In spite of all the challenges, within five years of operations, MGL built a pipeline network of over 1,100 kilometers, connected PNG to more than 1,3,000 households and was fueling over 35,000 vehicles from 25 CNG outlets. sole authorized distributor of CNG and PNG in the Mumbai metropolitan region, MGL began expanding its natural gas infrastructure far and wide. In 2005, MGL entered the city of Thane. Soon, in 2006, MGL ventured into the Mira Bhayendar area. In 2009, it was time for the Navi Mumbai region. MGL's second city gate station was commissioned in Mahape. The third city gate station came up in the industrial belt of Taloja. The network then expanded up to Panvel and further on to Kalyan Dombivili, Ulhasnagar and Ambarnath, with the fourth city gate station executed in Ambarnath. Currently, MGL is expanding its energy lifeline to the Raigarh district of Maharashtra. Today, a growing number of private vehicles, including new generation cars, taxi aggregators like Miru, Ola, Uber and others are running on CNG. A few years ago, MGL launched CNG for two wheelers as well. All the operations of MGL are governed by global standards of safety and security. Training vans are deployed for safety training of all contract workmen at the pipeline sites. All the employees strictly follow the MGL Lifesaver rules. The entire network of MGL has GIS mapping. A fleet of emergency vans, monitored by a central security control room, can handle any emergency at any spot within 30 minutes. Bike patrolling and CCTV surveillance are additional safety features that we employ. For our capacity building, we leverage the relationship with our contractors and suppliers. And to achieve that, we have a regular interaction with our suppliers and contractors, wherein we share our annual targets new product innovation required. There are good processes in system 
regular reviews are done with our suppliers and contractors so that our uh, challenges can be addressed and our targets can be met. MGL constantly adopts the latest technologies and trends to improve customer satisfaction. There are customer walk-in centers across the Mumbai region. Moreover, MGL Connect, mobile apps, CNG fuel card, online bill payment and a 24-7 call center provide greater convenience to customers. In the year 2016, when MGL crossed two decades of its operations, the company went public for the successful IPO and is listed on the Bombay Stock Exchange. Entering its 25th year of service, MGL has completed a pipeline network of 5,200 kilometers, serving over 6,50,000 vehicles from 236 CNG stations, which have nearly 1,300 dispensing points. And PNG is connected to more than 11 lakh households and over 3,770 commercial and industrial establishments. As we enter our Silver Jubilee year, we justifiably feel proud to be the leading conglomerate in the city gas distribution space that has made significant contributions to the well-being of the people of Mumbai while creating value for all our stakeholders. Our incredible journey is a testimony of the vision, entrepreneurial spirit, and commitment that the company fosters. While energizing the megapolis with the pollution-free fuel, MGL has also integrated community care into its scheme of things, providing healthcare assistance to taxi and auto drivers, educational assistance to children of the poor, skill development for the youth, women empowerment, and environment protection initiatives are the main pillars of MGL's CSR programs. During the 2005 Mumbai floods, MGL was the only utility to carry on operating, offering relief to the people. On 26-11-2008, when terror struck at the Taj Mahal Hotel, MGL's emergency team managed to put off the gas supply, which otherwise could have been catastrophic. Many employees who joined in 25 years back, they are still with the company, they are contributing to the company. Our employees who are enhancing the capability of MGL in taking up the new challenges and ensuring that the MGL vision is rolled out and mission is achieved. With a constantly expanding energy infrastructure, MGL has set new goals for itself with diversifications into LNG transportation and exploring new geographies amongst others. 1998, when the team of Mahanagar Gas came to us, we thought that this is not good. लेकिन अभी हम उसके बिना हम रह नहीं सकते। 20 साल से हम महानगर गैस इस्तेमाल कर रहे हैं। मुंबई के प्रति हमारा ये योगदान है और हमें अभिमान है कि हम महानगर के कंज्यूमर हैं। These are being made possible by the dedicated teamwork of its people, who are guided by a vision to serve customers and the environment by providing safe, efficient, and reliable energy to create a sustainably progressive megapolis of Mumbai and its surrounding region. While we continue to expand our core business, we are also reinventing our business strategy to effectively capitalize on the opportunities that are emerging with the changing times. I strongly believe that riding on our financial strength, commercial acumen, project execution skills, o &M expertise, sound HR practices, safety and asset integrity focus, coupled with our committed human resource, we shall be able to handle all future challenges and continue to create value for our stakeholders. <laughs> Such a jacket,